So, in fact, the house that you guys previously thought I was at, well, yeah, it turns out I had some issues with the landlord. That is right. Been forced to move into uh, here, that is right. So, uh, this is a pretty darn good substitute, though, if you take a look at the house. It's a really nice place. Solid place, solid levels, uh, it's a fairly simple house, but it's quite the beautiful house at the same time, so, yeah, certainly can't deny it, it also has a nice, uh, underground area, could almost function like a bit of a hotel, if you see here, so yeah, pretty nice room, I think this is pretty much, uh, likely gonna be my main room for now, and yeah, as I mentioned, the clothes collection is decent, and, uh, it's a nice, fairly small place. Yeah, though, got a great pool, though. Uh, it's, a, it's just a stunning view of the area. Honestly, it's a decent, nice big house. You got multi-floor, decent little uh, garage storage place in here, beautiful hot tub sauna. Uh, it's a really nice place for me to be in. I'm certainly going to be here for the next couple of months until, obviously, I potentially move to Europe. So, yeah, this is a great place, and I'm so pleased to have it. Get into this episode playing in Vancouver for the very first time. And yes, uh, this was a key moment. Yet again, obviously a huge opportunity. I just jumped to a 72 rating. Uh, so pretty key, uh, pretty pleased with that. Um, starting to get into a good range, only about 20 years old, and uh, I've already grown by two ratings in a few games. And so, this was the first time I had ever ventured into the land of Canada. So, Making my debut in front of a hostile crowd. I've always been disliked by Canadians due to the actions of my father. However, it was time for my own business on the forefront. We were at the top of the league. Three point gap there. Fantastic form. But facing a very good Vancouver Whitecaps team filled with young talent for the future and great players at the moment. Ontario was one of the main threats, and David Usted, a longtime keeper, was always going to be a challenge. They've almost mimicked our formation with a 4-2-3-1 Montero up top, so yet again, could I continue my good form, and could I actually get a goal this time? Oh, what a block there, that's brilliant. Trump! Oh, good chance. Oh, no! Pass it! Cross it across the box! It was an empty chance, man. Oh, okay. It's an okay shot, but... Really, like, I was trying to call for the ball there, because I was on the back post. I was all alone there, so... Quite disappointing from, uh... Dos Santos, but... It's not the end of the world. And so far, a bit of an inauspicious uh, debut in Vancouver. Oh, okay, um... Ooh, and I'm yellow carded. Wow. First ever yellow, but... Oh, I forced to save out of the keeper, wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no! I've been sent off! Oh dear goodness! I've been sent off! Alright, so uh, we were suspended for the game against Montreal, so that match is simulated. Um, so now it's time for redemption. Uh, because I decided to be a bit of a spastic, and um, well, in all honesty, I. Well, I, I got sent off. Um, so, it's embarrassing, it's uh, stupid, but it's, it's time for me to learn from that lesson. That was right. So, getting into the match against Orlando City. This was it. This was my chance for redemption. After humiliation in the match versus Vancouver, where I stupidly got myself sent off for a second bookable offense, an extremely needless tackle in the midfield, first one was embarrassing. I was trying to slide it into the keeper, trying to put pressure, and end up taking out the defender. And then to kick out at the player in the midfield when I had no chance to tackle, that was just uh, 
purely embarrassing for myself. Um, luckily, the manager's forgiven me, though. Uh, I get a second chance in the starting lineup. And the lineup we were facing was, of course, of Orlando City. And they had a great of European football in Kaká. So, could I uh, show I had something to prove there? So, it was a 4 one 2 one 2 Kaká at the top in the camp position. And Sile Aaron, an up-and-coming Canadian striker. We lined up with our usual 4-4-1-1. Uh, only one change, I think, as I'm pretty sure Michael Siani came in. But yes, it's 4-4-1-1. Uh, the game I got sent off, we could only manage a draw. So, uh, what do I say there? Um, I cost my team the game, but I think I can make it up with a good performance. It's headed in off the crossbar! That was such a good pass! That should have been an assist. Trump in off the crossbar! Oh, what a chance! What an incredible two minutes of play for myself, hitting the crossbar and having a cross being hit off the crossbar. Oh, how is that a poor pass? I was surrounded by three people. Give it a rest. I swear to. Ah! Great assist now. It's Alessandrini. Come on, finish this. Finish this. Goal! It's an assist. There we go. It's the play that was deserved. A brilliant pass into Alessandrini, who puts it away. And indeed, we take the lead 42 minutes in. And yeah, that was a great pass there. The ball came back to me, and a perfect pass sent Alessandrini through, and uh, a great finish into the corner there. Bottom corner, low finish, and did exactly what was required of him. Perfect finish into the corner. That's all you could ask for. Good Dwyer, and oh, off the post! It's headed on. Now take it oh, oh, oh! What an incredible individual goal! It's stunning! It's absolutely no touch brilliance from Baron Trump! It's a stunning individual goal. Cuts in on the left, sneaks through two men, and a smashing finish at the near post. That is the moment a star is born. Baron Trump with a beautiful finish. And a stunning individual run of a truly special quality. It's a fantastic goal. It's my third of the season, and I have truly redeemed myself. Brilliant. Oh my no, why would I let that go? But it's a two goal, it's a goal, okay. I unselfishly let that go. Uh, okay, okay, let's be bloody real here. Um, why am I not going for that? I mean, it's nice and unselfish and all, but... It's a good goal, though. Del Santos puts it away. Um... Yeah, we lead. Oh. It's Trump. Oh god, I got done. I got done there. Okay. It's a chance in. Finish goal! There we go! It's a second assist. Couldn't really justify going for it alone. But it's a goal and two assists on the night. And it's absolutely game-changing brilliance from myself. I would love to charge in there, but let's be real here. If it's me on the wing there, uh, I need to cut that out. I need to cut that on, so. It's a brilliant finish, though. Giovanni Dos Santos leaves absolutely no chance there. As it goes right into the far corner. It's 4-0. It's a slaughtering of Oak.
Orlando City. There we go, that's it. It ends a brilliant performance for myself. A goal and two assists. Man of the match there, absolutely no doubt. That was just brilliant. A 9.3 rating, it is true redemption. And a performance worthy of the Trump namesake. And so yet again, reaching new heights. And of course, with a brilliant goal, there's always the chance that I may start to attract the attention of Europe. And I certainly would be up for that. We still got a couple months to go. But as I end off the episode, um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, obviously, that was kind of embarrassing in the first game getting sent off. But uh, man, oh man, the way I came back for that, that was, uh, that was stunning. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys later. Peace!